Okay, we're back in business. A couple of things give me indication that's the case. One of which is right here, Tesla has one station added to the database. They were one of the ones that were uploading via CSV. Another one is the CPO Zeph Energy, which I also believe is a CSV upload CPO. And they had multiple lines um, added to the database just in the past few days. So those two things combined give me indication that the operator necessary to upload the CSV files is again doing what they need to in order to get those added to the database. And um, the reason I'm doing this on a weekend instead of on waiting till next Friday, I'm expecting next Friday to be pretty heavy with uh, Tesla updates. And so I'm just trying to clear the plate of the backlog. And I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but the National Renewable Energy Laboratory has a way you could reach out and contact them. I have done so in the past and gotten responses. And <clears throat> so I sent a new request just saying, hey, is uh, we've been seeing delays with these um, a lot of the CPOs is their uh, expectation of when that's going to be fixed. Haven't got a response yet. I just sent it today, but uh, we'll see what they say and I'll update uh, when I hear back from them. So 326 stalls were installed um, since the last update. That brings the total to 61,839 or 34.35% complete of the 180,000 necessary in order to hit the target set out by the National Renewable Energy's Laboratory 2023 study. BP Pulse added four stations, Mercedes-Benz added two, Pilot Flying J added three, Loves added one, Tesla added one, Electrify America added six, ChargePoint added 72 in their continued conquest for domination there. EVgo added three, and I'll let anyone guess what state all three of those are in. EV Connect added 37. Most of these are transfers from Shell Sky, and I'll get to that in a second. Rivian Adventure Network added two, including one in extreme western Oregon. And Francis added one, which is a Nevi station in Pennsylvania. Let's get into the data. So BP Pulse added four, the two at the Travel Centers of America, which are both 12 stalls using Alpitronic hyperchargers, and uh, two at Thornton's, a part of the densification effort. This is what the Thornton's in Round Lake Park, Illinois, looks like. Someone with a very clean bolt is getting ready to get some electrons. Mercedes-Benz added two stations, New Brunfields, which is north um, east of San Antonio, and Waller, Texas, which is north of Houston, both 10 stalls. Pilot Flying J added three. New Milford, Pennsylvania is a Nevi site, and Wood River, Nebraska, the first one in the state of Nebraska, Carlisle, Pennsylvania, all four stalls. Loves added Waterloo, New York, which has been under construction for a while. We're kind of in question about what their plans are in the future, considering Nevery has been kneecapped. But at least they're completing the ones that were under construction previously. So these are the four Loves that are currently open, and the one in Waterloo had this canopy. So they kind of were close to being open, and then they seemed to pivot to put in a canopy, and the canopy is now complete, and the station is open. Here's the Tesla site. And just to confirm, we had someone check in on February 28th, Lonnie, and I think this is Lonnie's uh, R1T. And you look at the open date of 225. So this all lines up 12 stalls in Calgary, Alberta. And if you count the stalls, there's not 12 there. That's because the other ones are on the other side of those gash. Actually, no, they're on the other side of these um, uh, chargers over there. You can see one of them over there. But this is the, the correct station. It did open on the correct date. And so we've got a live entry by Tesla into the database indicating that the method for updating via CSV seems to be operational again. Here's Electrify America, and there are six stations. And if you look at these four, it seems to be decreasing in stall count for some reason. And I know that RMP in Utah is a EVgo commercial gig and they get to choose how many stalls they put in. But I don't know if all four, four of these four stall stations are like that. But um, I do have a picture of the Fairview Heights, Illinois. This is what it looks like. Open and operational, St. Clair Square. Now let's get to ChargePoint. Just a enormous amount of stations. A couple of things to call out here 
is Boston, Massachusetts four stalls. This is a shell recharge station and it was has a site visit video done by it by Steve at Plug and Play EV many years ago. And they took out the old chargers and put in CBE 250s. It's right next to a very distinctive looking Starbucks. Nice looking station. And here in Louisiana, I'm not gonna try to pronounce the French word of the town, but there's 10 stalls and Louisiana is pretty slim pickings for uh, EV charging. So I was trying to look this up. It is not on charge point yet. It just opened, let's see, that would be yesterday. And uh, so exciting times for Louisiana getting a large station at a car dealership. And it's north of I-10, probably about 50 miles in kind of a desolate area of the state. So this is definitely going to be helpful. Here in Tucson, Arizona, two stalls by GPM Investments. Looks like this. Two chargers, both of them have one CCS, one Chatamo. One CCS, one Chatamo. EVgo has three, and if anyone guessed California, you're a winner winner. And uh, so I was trying to get a distinctive looking picture and none of the ones from the eight stalls called out to me. So I got a picture from the Chase Bank in Santa Barbara. There it is, that's what it looks like. Nice looking station. And EV Connect, what I wanna call out is all the ones in North Carolina and South Carolina. Duke Energy had their initial effort with the back end partner of Shell Sky, but Shell Sky has ended. And so what you see all these entries here in North Carolina and South Carolina are transitions to EV Connect, which they started doing about a year ago with new stations, but this is them just going back and all the existing stations prior to that pivot getting moved over to EV Connect. And there's two pages of EV Connect. Here's the first page, here's the second page, and as you can see, more South Carolina, North Carolina, all those are the ones that are getting moved over. And this office test station I looked up is a restricted station in Beverly Hills, California. No pictures, I'm not quite sure what that is. And here's the Rivian one at Journey's End. You could probably see the state of Washington from this location. Boy, it must be a beautiful location. You can get coffee apparently also, so kudos to Rivian. A uh, second one in Columbus, Texas, both six stalls. Both opened uh, just this past week. Finally, Francis opened a Nevy station in Pennsylvania, Carlisle, at a Sheets, four stalls. Thanks for watching.